And here we go. The Friday Night Lights have been switched on all across the state of New York as high school football returns to captivate all of us for the next two months. Tonight, the Southwestern and Falconer rivalry is renewed. Frewsburg and Randolph have an early Class D showdown, but we start with the Jamestown Red Raiders as, to, as they look to earn their fourth straight trip to the postseason. Head over to Strider Field. Walt Rudy being honored there. If you've been nice enough to meet him, you've been he's been nice enough to give you a Jolly Rancher at any Jamestown event. Raiders and Wolverines in non-league double A action. Mid first falls moving it in the air. Ricky Bailey to Mike Legout for 11 yards and a Wolverine first down. The next play falls on the ground. Jeff Goldsmith big run until he <coughs> <coughs> Coughs it up right there. Raiders, Ben Whitney, Johnny on the spot. He has that fumble recovery. He also added 12 tackles. Raiders next drive. Jake DeWallaby, 14 yards on the receiver sweep. And the Raiders have a first down there in business. Two plays later, they go right back to the ground. It's Spencer to sink you, but he's going to give the ball back to Niagara Falls. The Wolverines are going to have to punt, though, on that drive. Middle of the second to sink you. Gets retribution. He cuts a cuts across the grain. It's a 25 yard run and the Raiders are in the red zone. Two plays later, Dennis Drew with the absolute strike into your kitchen to DeWallaby. Touchdown for Jamestown, it's seven to nothing. The Red Raiders will get two special teams touchdowns on the night and they get that first big win in non-league action. 28 to seven down at Strider Field. We head over to a packed Charles A. Lawson Field in Lakewood as Southwestern and Falconer renew that rivalry. 6-0 Trojans mid-first. Southwestern D forces its third fumble of the game. They're in business, and here you see what they do after the fumble, the ensuing drive. Trojans Brian Schutte on the counter. He gains 14 yards, and it's first down. Next play, Jake Pilling on the quarterback keep, and Pilling takes that pill into the end zone for a touchdown, 12-0 Southwestern. Mid-second now, now still 12-0. Your play of the day comes from the Trojans, Jake Swan. It's not a 98, not a 99, not a 100-yard return, but about a 101-yard pick. Six shows off the wheels, and the senior is in for the touchdown. His second of the game, making it 19-0. Late second, Falconer punting. Ball's going to get away on their own territory. You'll see Swan come up with, guess what? Another pick. He also, like Ben Whitney, Johnny on the spot. Trojans are in the red zone. And Southwestern Trojans first play. It's Shooty, another TD run. This one's for 15 yards. Trojans lead 26 to nothing. And they would go on to the 35 to 12 win in that rivalry action. We head out to Randolph where the Frewsburg Bears and Randolph Cardinals looking for their first win in the new Class D division. Pick it up in the second quarter. Frewsburg with the ball on Randolph's 19. And Thad Johnson passes to Dalton Peterson. He's going to break two tackles and goes the distance for the touchdown at 7-7. Randolph can't formulate a drive and the Bears get the ball back. Watch Thad Johnson on this one. We know the young man can swim. We know he can ball on the baseball diamond, but he can also play Football, nice run there. Touchdown makes it 13-13. Makes it 13-7 at his Cardinals. We a little foreshadowing there. Cardinals get the touchdown here from John Morganti. Goes to George Pitchford for the touchdown, and that would make it 13-13. We're still in the second quarter. Frewsburg coughs up the kickoff, and Randolph monopolizes on the turnover. And a few plays later, and it's Brent Robbins. He's going to find the end zone. And you'll see the two-point conversion will be good, making it 21-13 cards over the Bears. And Randolph would get the win 27-25 as the Bears are not able to get a two-point conversion late in that one. They get that two-point win, which is huge to start off that newly revamped mm -hmm. Class D with that first victory. Maple Grove may have been the most impressive team tonight. 36 to nothing over Portville out in Bemis. 